Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, let's bring him in. Look at that shirt. That is lovely. I can't wait to hear Jeremy's voice. You've got to hear him. What? <laughs> There's got to be more than that. Wait. Oh, <laughs> oh Good morning, everybody. Oh, oh Jeremy. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm extremely well. <laughs> if a little quiet. Now, you went to bed, you were telling me, at 10 o'clock last night. And then you woke up this morning and you've, you've lost your voice. <coughs> no, no, this has been lost since Saturday. Can't find it anywhere. I've looked behind the sofa. Oh. I've looked in the car, in the glove box. It's just nowhere. You don't sound anything like Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> no, you could have just literally got anybody in off the street. <laughs> you know, on this DVD, Dave, mm. right? Yes, the Porsche 911, wah, 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 and the... Paganin in his Honda Rodster, whatever these you cars You just are try to say it properly, otherwise I'll mispronounce the killers. Pagani Zonda. I F. said the Pagani Zonda. You said Paganini. You said Paganini because you were, thinking, like, of, you were thinking of sandwiches. <laughs> You're always thinking of sandwiches. Or the Porsche 944 Porsche. or whatever it is. Porsche. Porsche? It's German. But also on this DVD, the Stig and Jody Kidd. Yeah. Now, if that's not worth the money alone, I don't know what is. Stig and Kid. Yeah. Yeah, Jodie's. I've just all gone wobbly. Whenever you mention Jodie's name, I go wobbly. Do you like her? Yes. She, I think she's... She's 175 never... yards tall. Yes, yeah, she's very, very... But you're tall. I know, but she's the only person I know who, when she's wearing shoes, is taller than I am. Mm. Really? Mm. Did we meet her in yes, LA? Yes, I think we did. At that party that just we went to. Just say that again. Oh, no, it gets better. Oh, yeah. Well, ask, ask me if I've met her. Hey, Chris, have yeah. you ever met Jodie? Jodie Kidd? Yeah. Yeah, I have, yeah. Ask him where. Whereabouts did you meet her? Met her at the Playboy Mansion. Really? Whereabouts? In in Los Angeles? Yeah. Actually, Hefner's No, the one in Huddersfield. I might have. Owned by Terry Playboy. Well, I'm trying to make the story last to be a bit more interesting. But I mean a bit more interesting. I met I've Jodie Kidd at the Playboy Mansion. You have made Hefner's it house. More, Already I've got the word Huddersfield in, therefore it's more interesting. But no, Jodie Kidd, you've got, if not just how fanciable she is, on the DVD, which is called Thriller, you should see how she drives. Quite fast. Oh, she's brilliant. Like a demon. She is a brilliant driver. Wow. She's nearly as brilliant as the Stig. Perhaps she is the Stig. Maybe she is. <sighs> the Stig seems quite tall. Mm. He is quite tall. And she wow. could hide all her hair in the helmet. Easily. Who knows what I've just revealed? There's a man coming. Do you want to tell everyone what the traffic is, or shall I do it? It's no, dreadful. No, no, no. Absolutely <laughs> dreadful everywhere. See, I think you secretly love radio. Oh, I think well, you'd be I, great. I like the traffic reports. I think you should do your own show. No, my favourite. There was a traffic report the other day, and it said, Chipping Norton High Street is closed. So what? <laughs> I live in Chipping Norton, and I'm not interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> so how can that possibly be relevant to anybody else? You will like this, Jeremy, because Allard... Hello. Is about to review an album that was played in full last night on Radio 1, from start to finish. Pink Floyd was the album last night on Zane Lowe's Masterpieces. He presses play and then just lets the whole album play. Isn't that great? Yeah. I mean, that, it's the greatest album of all time. Well, oh, no. we've got Alan to review it. <laughs> oh, no. He's reviewing these albums every night. These are the albums that Zane believes everyone should know about and hear about, whether you bought it or not, whether you know about it or not, you should know about it. You should listen to it. So Alan is now going to review track by track the whole album. It is a total fluke, by the way, that Alan should be doing the review of this album on the day that you're On the you're day we've here. got an old fella But in. It, is, it is a brilliant coincidence. Should we not do it now? No, I, no if you hear the sound of furniture seeming flying through the air and smashing into someone halfway through <laughs> that that will be actually furniture flying mm. through the air it's not my favorite album of the week right here's the comes the chair <laughs> <laughs> right you ready alan yeah okay alan's review of the pink floyd album dark side of the moon track one speak to me not the best way to start an album in my opinion a lot of silence when noise did start, it was very random, including what sounds like Chris laughing and the till from Are You Being Served. On the good side, it was only one minute, eight seconds long. There you go. Now, Track would you one. agree with that, Jeremy? That there is no word that I can broadcast <laughs> okay. for how wrong That's that is. one of ten. <laughs> Track two suggests the album is going to be an album my dad would like. <laughs> very laid back with a soundtrack from what I can only describe as a specialist film. I hope the album will pick up pace a little, as so far, there's no beat, let alone anything that's vaguely danceable to. He's disappointed that he can't dance. 
Yeah, I know. People used to say that as Chopin as well. <laughs> On the run. A little like Madonna's confession album in the way that so far all the tracks merge into each other. Unlike Madonna's album, however, there's no good melody or tune, let alone a glitter ball. There is, however, a lot of experimental style wowing with synthesizers, which reminds me a little of my GCSE drama days when we had to meditate and be a tree. <laughs> There was also some random helicopter in there, some more laughing, and someone running. It's quite accurate, to be fair. Track be four, time. Very promising start, with a bell from Britney Spears hit me one more time, kicking off the track. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was the only good bit out of the six minutes and 30 seconds. That, and it was... <laughs> so, go, don't hit me. <laughs> And it soon descended into the backing music for Prisoner Cell Block H, oh. which for anyone too young or not gay, was an Australian <laughs> soap set in a woman's prison where the sets were cheap and acting was bad. Two minutes 30 in and the dad rock vocals came back. Oddly though, my favourite track so far. Did you listen? Did you listen to yes, the words? Yeah. No, I couldn't the lyrics. understand them. Unbelievable Jeez. lyrics. Track five. Oh, okay. The great gig in the sky. Some lovely piano work here. Which is soon ruined by some lady who must, have been <laughs> <laughs> who must have been in pain from the sound of her wailing. Perhaps she was in the same GCSC drama class as the band were, or maybe she's still in the female prison from earlier. <laughs> Almost there. Jeremy is sitting back in his chair with his head in his hands. Mm. I'm loving this. Can we really speed this up now? I'm, okay. I'm quite scared. Eclipse. Clearly wanting to go out on a high, they've brought all the previous album elements together. So the choir, the drama class, the wailing lady, the lounge music, and the experimental heartbeat are all back. On the whole, more of a journey than a music album for me, but very interesting. That's my review. So what do you think of Radio 1 again, Jeremy? You really have got it so wrong. <laughs> How can you have a go at me about music when you were in Mr. Blobby's music video in oh Christmas Christ, 93? Oh, because good I was a shout, boy. Alan! Thank you. Boom. I was a new boy like you are now trying to make a name for myself by being controversial. <laughs> Blobby, oh, Mr. Blobby, and you were in that was video. Was I really in a DVD? You were the car driver. Was oh, I? Oh, Jeremy. I must have been bloody poor. <laughs> the Christmas.